Now, honorable mentions. I do want to mention this because I feel like it could help a lot of people. Um, I'll make separate videos on these things. I mean, it's not the last time you'll hear me talking about these things because this is mostly what my life entails. And you guys, do you guys want to know something funny? Like, when I first got into the used car business, my family, my boyfriend, and <laughs> they were all like, what's happening? You know, so because I always come up with these ideas and they're like, what, what the hell? You know, but when you want to get out of like, if you feel like you're kind of trapped with the nine to five, you essentially your mind starts working, right? So you're trying to get out of it almost. But anyway, so that, that was just like really funny. I'll, I'll tell you guys about that story in a different video maybe. <laughs> but honorable mentions, I digress again. Uh, I just feel like they, these things could be really helpful, especially if you currently work in corporate. Another thing that I have, it's not an income stream, it's more like a savings and preparing for the future. Looking at now, what can I do now to further set myself up in the future? This, these are very hard things to do because you can't, play, you don't know what the future holds, but it doesn't hurt to, to really go in these directions either. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just telling you guys what I do. It's just an opinion, really, um, just based on things that I've done, that I that I tried, that I continue to try, that work, that might not work, whatever. So one of the things, one of the things right now is I do have a Lynch um, IRA account, and I have a couple of thousand dollars in there that I always add to as much as I possibly can throughout the year, and that does generate income stream in the form of investments as well. They automatically invest the stocks and things like that. My goal is after a certain amount, I'm close to having um, a couple, like the, the number, like I think you have to have like uh, 30,000 or something like that, or however much it is in there to where you can have someone actually looking at your profile and making investments for you. Um, so that's pretty cool. So right now they, they help me manage my account. And so I'm always kind of seeing the movement of that and the growth of that. Uh, if you see that it goes down, don't worry about that because they probably purchased some stocks and things like that. It's just the way that it works. Um, but uh, essentially the money is working for you continuously and i think that that is always the end game right your money needs to work for you not you work for your money that's the end game always don't forget that um so i do have a lynch account that i'm pretty happy with i continue to invest in that account and they continue to manage that account for me so that's number one it's an ira by the way um yeah it's an ira account so it's a Roth IRA account. Um, the second thing is a 401k. Because I am in corporate, I'm able to have a 401k. Get this, right? If you're new to corporate or whatever, or you don't have one, get it, please, for God's sake. Like, get it and max out as much as you possibly can. Right now, I think I'm only contributing like 13% out of my paycheck. So automatically from my paycheck, it goes into that account. And my plan is, Whenever it is that I leave my current place of employment, I roll that. I'm gonna roll that right into my uh, my IRA that I have with Lynch, and just continue to add on to that value. But while if you're working in corporate or anything like that, and you have the opportunity to get a 401k, definitely get that and find out how much your company is matching, right? And definitely make sure to put at least the max amount that your company will match and it's different for each company. You'll have to look into that if that's something that you're not already doing, but that's something that I do currently, and I think it's definitely um, a good idea. And um, you know, you can just always roll that stuff over and things like that. Um, I think you can borrow against it too, also, if you were to ever need to do that, which I think is pretty cool. Um, the, th the third honorable mention is HSA account. So I didn't know what the I didn't know what the hell this was when I started working in corporate and these things they don't teach you in school, you know what I'm saying? So it's just kinda like it almost makes you feel like you go to school, you spend so much money and you come out but you don't have like practical things. Like I don't know if you guys can feel me on that, but it's just crazy to me. I, I do have plans to go back for my PhD starting January, but it's going to be a lot better than my master's, a, a lot simpler in the sense that a lot of the courses I'll be taking will be online, so it won't be as 
just rigorous as my master's was in in that like I, I literally would drag back and forth and all that stuff so it, it's, it's definitely something I'm looking forward to to having more flexibility on and um, power on as well so anyways but they, they don't really teach you all these things right they just fill your head up with all these other things but the things that you actually need on a day-to-day -day basis is like well shit now I gotta do everything and figure it out myself <laughs> you know like you know I'm sorry you guys but it's the summer so I went with the blue hair but but yeah so um, the HSA account like I was saying get it please for God's sake get it because usually an HSA account is something you can take with you and um, these companies a lot of times they might not have really good insurance but whenever you go see a doctor whenever you go to your dentist whenever you go to Walgreens or something like that you don't have to pay for that well you're paying for it but um, you're paying for it with money they've already taken automatically before you even get your check and everything else eats up your check <laughs> you know what I'm saying um, they'll take that amount and put it in your HSA account so if any expenses medical expenses medicines anything were to ever come up you could just use your card your HSA card to to pay for that and and so get that and, and invest in it generously it took me a while to learn that lesson I wish someone would have told me that but I do have one now and I do tr try to definitely invest as generous generously as I can into to that account and continue to build it and even though even if I leave this Place, wherever I'm employed now it's something that I can take with me and continue to invest in also so it's just fantastic it's a great resource to have and you might not have co-pays like you might have like minimums that you have to be rich that are outrageous right now so then what do you do you know like for example my my current um, insurance right now if there's uh, I have a, a high high um, kind of like a high premium on mine to where if I don't spend up to like three thousand, then they don't copay on anything. I know it's insane, but so you run into these things, right? So, you know, get your get an HSA card and, and things like that, and and literally just pray that you don't end up in the hospital because you'll be paying an arm and a leg. These insurance companies, I mean, they can be challenging. So, um, I definitely, I, I would say that's something that worked for me. Again, not a financial advisor, just kind of some things that I'm currently doing. From things that I've learned and experiences that I've had thus far. The final honorable mention I would say is a savings account because I, literally you guys yes yesterday I just woke up yesterday was Saturday Saturday morning I woke up I went over to bank uh, to my bank <laughs> I don't want to say what my bank is online but I went over to my bank and withdrew like thousands of dollars from the account that I was using as my savings account because I was just unhappy with with it. I just kept thinking like, I have these th this money because I have like different accounts that how I allocate things and I feel like the money is just sitting here. You know, like it makes no sense. And I'll make a different video of the savings accounts, saving accounts, savings accounts that I've, um, re I've done a lot of research on it since I went into the bank and just withdrew all like all of that money from my account and literally left it with nothing but 99 cents um, and I withdrew it and I didn't know what I was gonna do with it quite yet um, I do now because I did extensive research and um, instead of having that money sitting there the money that you put aside that doesn't that you know you just kind of put aside that is instead of just having it sit there your best my for to me your best bet would be to find a savings account that pays something you know they, they it's all kind of like okay really like five dollars or whatever but something like as opposed to just having it sit there now I had a savings account with my current bank and um, they only gave a one percent and you had to have a certain minimum in the account and or otherwise pay fees and I just hated it so I went and I found a different bank that I'm really excited that I put in the application for a savings account with them their return is at 2.36 right now um, it's it's Citibank actually so Citibank actually has pretty high returns on their savings account right now compared to everywhere else at 2.36 approximately and so instead of having all of those thousands of dollars just literally sitting there like 
I'm gonna put it in that savings account. I might as well. So at the end of the year, let me get a, a, a couple of extra dollars, like fifty dollars or whatever, however much that comes out to be, right? In the in the event that I, and because I'm gonna continue, the plan is that I will continue to add to this bank account. So why am I just using just the regular bank account because I was unhappy with the savings account that my bank currently offers when I could just go out and find something that I, I still bank with my current bank, but I just don't, I will not put, I would not have a savings account with them because they have nothing that I'm interested in in that area. And so I, I would much rather, if I'm setting that money aside anyway, put it in a savings account that has the highest interest rate that I could possibly find. Done, like literally, I mean, it, it's not that much, it's not like you're bo like rolling or anything, but it's just like little things, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're gonna keep adding to it. So that's what I've done. And I'm really excited about that. And plus, I feel like it's better for me anyway to have multiple banks than just one, which I've only had just one thus far. I don't know what I've been thinking or smoking, but now I, at least I have like two banks that I bank with. So <laughs> that's progress on my end. And, and, and so I, I found that that's, that's something that I'm really, a decision I'm really, really happy about. So you guys, that's about it. I mean, like that's it. I'll make other. I'll make another video soon, sometime this week, hopefully, on different savings accounts that that are currently paying um, a higher return that I liked when I was shopping around. Um, but this, I mean, Citibank was just the one that I felt like fit my needs the best, and I was happy with that. Now I don't see that Citibank doesn't really have any actual locations but uh, it, that, so that's gonna be a switch for me because they have a bunch of ATMs and stuff but no like physical locations but I could I mean at this point I don't really care about that because I feel like I don't really ever need to go in a bank for anything really like um, but that's up to you you know I feel like that's just kind of where the times are going going right now um, and a lot of the a lot of the, the the places on the list might not have a physical bank address that you can go to I don't feel like that's a necessity for me at all and I feel like that's gonna be an easy transition so it wasn't too high on my priority list when I was shopping around um, I was surprised I thought Citibank would have some but they don't which is fine um, so I'll make another video on that list but until then keep looking up because that's where it all is I missed you guys very much and I'm excited to be back on YouTube and just doing other things other than like studying and and stuff oh like <laughs> so if you guys want to see something definitely let me know please leave a comment below if you haven't subscribed yet smash that subscribe button and I will talk to you guys soon bye bye